everybody, Scrap and Salvage here. Uh, I found some good finds the other day that are gonna make me some good flips. I found this one cool thing is this modern primitive, I would say, um, little go-kart steering wheel. The gentleman who I bought this stuff from used to teach uh, wood shop and, and uh, metal working in, in high schools. And I think one of his students made this back in the day. I uh, thought it was really cool. Um, so pick that up. And then, uh, you know, 60s uh, black and yellow plate. Always fun to find those. I sell those pretty frequently. Unfortunately, it's not a pair. That would do better. I uh, found this um, pinstriping tool. I've never seen these before. This is more of a modern one, but this tool adds a little pinstripe to your car or to your, you know, different things you want to add a little dormant to. Don't really know how it 100% works, but um, someone will definitely be interested in that. They're kind of all, all over the map in terms of price, probably 100, and, 100 bucks to 150 bucks. We'll see if it goes for that. One of the best finds was this USBIA um, a slay maker padlock, a uh, paper seal padlock, which is, so they would use these a lot of times in uh, prohibition times where they would need to, um, you know, monitor who's entering and exiting a building. So they would have this feature in this, see if I can get it even open. Oh, there we go. So you'd open this up and then there was an, a, a paper seal inserted right here. And uh, you can't open the lock without basically protruding the paper. This says USBIA. I'm not sure if it's uh, Bureau of Industrial Alcohol. I've seen some things online that say such, but uh, just a cool, um, cool lock brass with the key. Cool little find. Moving on, got this little jeweler's Atlas anvil. Fun, very well made. And also this uh, marking outfit for, or, um, stamping leather but the neat thing about this was and the reason why i bought it is it's us joss h matthews and matthews and co pittsburgh 1942 so world war ii era uh, stamping kit for leather goods and I know they also made a metal one too so complete with all the different letters it has some condition issues a little uh, you know rust surface rust on there but these are uh just cool so the leather maker um, have this up on eBay right now with a bid on it, so hopefully it brings a little bit more money. Um, yeah, fun, fun. I've never seen that before, so usually when you see something you never see, you buy it. And then this HS, the Herman Sears Bull uh, Modernist. He's a Danish designer who um, created this ring. It's really cool sterling silver with this amethyst orb in it that rotates. I uh, just love the look of it, the modern design, the Danish design. And he uh, started his company in 1945. He had a tragic death in 65. The company still is in business, his kids run it. Um, but uh, he wanted to make modern, uh, affordable modern um, jewelry for the consumer. So, but cool little vintage find. He's got a little stamping in there, it's HS. And then obviously 925 would be the silver. HS for Herman Searsbold. I think it's Searsbold or Sizebold. Um, yeah, fun find. Next up, this is Mar it says, uh, made by Marathon & Co. This little um, arm lighter. Doesn't work right now yet, but I'm sure it will fire up. Put a new flint in that. Uh, probably from the 30s. Um, nice little leather leather band to it. Has a little bit of condition issues, but from for the 1930s, it's looking pretty good. And then next up, have this monogrammed NPS the Clark Company always works. Um, little lighter, a little flip up lighter. Very cool. Um, this will bring a little, little money for sure. Tabacchiana is highly collectible. Probably lost a little bit of collectability due to just non-smoking, but cool piece nonetheless. Found this King Cutter little ax, EC Simmons King Cutter. Um, this company also makes a lot of um, pocket knives and such. Um, I believe also maybe straight razors, old company. Just uh, anytime you see an old label or maker's marks, good to pick them up. There's a little value in that. And then moving on, this um, horse uh, bell lot. Um, yeah, I saw this. I love the patina on this old one. 
So, uh, and this gentleman had a box and I was like, oh, what do you want for the box? And he was kind of hemming and hawing on price and he kind of came back and sold it all to me. But um, I'm not sure if these have been polished up or they're just brand new. But um, these don't look as old because they're not as well made, but this one is really old. So fun to find that. There's definitely some value in old bells. I've uh, you string them up for Christmas, shake them around at your doors. I uh, found this brass little hose nozzle. I'm not sure if it's for fire hose or a you know, cabinet or whatnot, but people collect those. This is a surveyor's transit. A um, little bit of collectability in here. This is uh, Kufel and Esser & Co. New York. It's another big brand that did a lot of these kind of things. Tools and uh, I'm not sure if they did knives and things, set, but um, transits and different things. But this is cool. It's got a great look to it. Put it on a shelf. Brass always dates it. It's probably, I don't know, 30s, 40s. Could be earlier. And then last but not least, this uh, Moeller um, you call it? thermometer test gauge. This would go into a like a piece of industrial uh, machinery and it would test the, the temperature. Could be a boiler or something, but just test the the the, the um, either the pressure or the, the heat content of it. But just a great look to it. So it has the really great detailed name on it. I'm good conditions. Probably had a repaint at some time, but uh, yeah, I just liked it and thought it was a cool piece. So yeah, this was the haul today. Fun little kind of industrial mix of metals and gadgets and uh, had a fun time picking it. And thank you for watching. Cattle on the Hill. Thank <laughs> you.